financial accounting. We've been looking at adjusting journal entries. And remember, there's four different kinds. One is where we look at our supplies account and our prepaid accounts, such as prepaid insurance. And we look at these and say, how much of this has been used or expired? And we move the amount that's used or expired out of the asset accounts into the expense accounts. We also looked at our liability account, unearned revenue, and we said how much of this unearned revenue, cash that I've received previously but hadn't done any work for yet, how much of that have I worked for and earned? And in that case, I'm going to move it out of the unearned revenue account and into the revenue account. So that was the second kind. The third kind was where we kind of thought about our life and said, is there anything that I should expense now, but I'll pay for it later? And if that's the case, things like income taxes, uh, interest, I would expense it now, and then I would show a liability here called something payable. And the fourth kind, remember, was where I'll receive it later, but it's revenue now. So it's where I've rendered services or I've had a note receivable, where well, I'll recognize the revenue now, but I'll receive it later and recognize that as, as part of our account receivable. So those are the four adjusting entries. Once we've journalized and posted our adjusting entries, we do an adjusted trial balance to, again, prove that our debits equal our credits. And uh, these are very small numbers. Think of them in millions, billions, or whatever you want to. Um, but it comes out to 200,000 in debits equal 200,000 in credits. Now, what do I do next after I have done my adjusted en adjusting entries and my adjusted trial balance? Is it time for that beautiful financial statement? Yes, it is. Do you remember the first financial statement we prepare? Well, our first financial statement we prepare is the income statement. And remember, the income statement is our revenue and expense account. So this will make up the income statement. The next statement we prepare is the retained earnings statement. And this 35, 000, this 35 is that our beginning retained earnings or our ending? And you're right, that's beginning. So we'll have to find what ending is. And then the last financial statement you're going to do is the balance sheet, which is the assets, liabilities, uh, stockholders' equity, and uh, which includes common stock and retained earnings. So let's try to do these pretty quick and see how we do. So income statement is going to be our service revenue minus our two expenses to equal net income. So income statement service revenue was 50 and we had two expenses which was supplies expense and insurance expense and supplies expense was 15 oh these were easy 15 and 15 so our total expenses were 30 so our net income is 20. Then we do retained earnings. Retained earnings, remember we start with beginning retained earnings to which we're going to add net income minus dividends equals ending retained earnings. Now on our trial balance we had beginning retained earnings of 35. We had net income of 20. Our trial balance had no dividends, so we didn't pay any dividends, so that's zero. So our ending retained earnings is what? 55. What's the last one we do? The income statement. Oh, excuse me, not the income statement, is it? It's the balance sheet. And the balance sheet shows that assets equal liabilities plus stockholders' equity. Now, if I remember my cash, accounts receivable, supplies, prepaid, and equipment, we'll come up with our total assets. So let's see, my cash was 100, my accounts receivable was 20, my supplies were 10, 
my prepaids was five and my equipment was thirty five so let's see that's one twenty one thirty one oh one hundred and seventy dollars my accounts payable is my liability accounts payable was fifteen I also had common stock which is stockholders equity of um, fifty no ninety and do you remember what ending retained earnings was? What did we find that was? Well, ending retained earnings was 55, wasn't it? So if I put 55 here and add this up, do I find that assets of 170 equal liabilities plus stockholders equity of 170? So remember the financial statements. Is she... BS.